Orchard Park. No, Orchard Caravan Park. <laughs> There's someone down there mowing the grass the old-fashioned way with a hand-pushed mower outside his caravan. And it is actually an orchard. Just while I was uh, recording over there, this fell from the tree. Oh, apple! Apple tree. And there's lots more of them. An apple tree of the red variety. And green. Green. More apple trees down there. Another one there. Yeah. It is an actual orchard. It's very nice indeed. A lovely place to stop. Let's close the gate. <laughs> I hadn't even realised till I was just talking to the owner of, uh, of the campsite there. Oh, there's a little pussy. Let me just get that pussy cat in. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Yeah, what's all the fuss? What's all the fuss, mate, eh? Ooh! <laughs> Fractious pussycat. Yeah, I hadn't really realised until talking to the owner of there. There's uh, slow trees all around, look at this. Look at the size of those. Swaledale grapes. Bush is absolutely thick with them. And another one there. Slows galore. Look at that. I've just tasted one. Just tasted one. Seems it's the right time of year. They're succulent and sweet. Yeah, apparently this is a what was an official estate orchard and the owner was telling me you know some of the holdings were split up in 1911 but it was the, the orchard slows apples cherries black currant i think he said you know it's all going on here <laughs> as a chap comes down from uh, low row and gets the windfall apples for cider making you know proper little uh, metropolis for fruit. That's good to see. Oh, there's some supposedly rare breeds of apples on this orchard too. It's all good, eh? Oh, oh. come back. Oh, it's back down there. Got it? No. It'll probably fly off as soon as I flash that. Mm -hmm. okay.
just yesterday we were cycling up the top of these fields that I have in front of me here where we crossed an earthwork feature and as it happens we're taking a walk today that takes us along the bottom, the lower end of that so just for completeness I thought I'd better get it on, on the record so to speak so Up there where the telegraph pole is, that's where the road is roughly. Maybe it's a bit higher up actually. We intersected the earthwork feature and it comes down here along these line of trees down there and then sort of uh, loses itself in the detail at the bottom but probably went all the way down to the river. what they call the swing bridge. It's not a swing bridge in the canal sense, just outside of reef. Just in the field beyond is what looks like cultivation terraces. You see that banding on the hill just opposite. Perhaps that's something to do. Dating back to the earthworks maybe. Agricultural terracing. Remington Edge. swaying. Yeah, and a little bit of bounce in it. A little bit of resilience and bounce. That's cool. <laughs> You're skipping. You're skipping with delight. Oh, got a wind. Crikey. Thank you, madam. Thank you, my lady. Oh, really? That terracing is quite distinct. That's the sound of Swaledale.
found ourselves a sunny little spot here, just listening to the wind in the trees. The occasional tweet of a bird. It's all action today. Isn't it? <laughs> trucks. These are, <coughs> excuse me, these are those cultivation terraces that we saw earlier from the other side of the river when we did the swing bridge. This is what they look like from above. And now I'm over this side of the valley. I see on the far side of the valley, the lights just caught it right. Evidence of strip field patterns. When the sun comes on that flank just right, you can see the sort of ridge and furrow field system. Yeah. <laughs> 